What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to give you an updated tutorial on how to update Kodi on the Fire TV without a computer. All right, so this video comes right after my previous method, which is no longer working at the time of this video. It might get fixed, but while we wait for it to get fixed, might as well show you guys a new method. So here we go. First thing you wanna do is make sure you already have Kodi, just like the previous video. All right, so I'll be updating from 14.2 to 15.0. Once you've made sure you have Kodi, you want to back out and go to System, then scroll down to Developer Options. Then you want to enable ADB debugging and also enable apps from unknown sources. All you have to do is select it with the center button and it turns it on. Here you wanna make sure you hit okay. And that's it, so you make sure those two options are enabled. Now you want to go back all the way to the main menu and hit the search. And you wanna make sure you search for file manager, just like that. Now you want to switch it to apps and games. All you have to do is hit the up arrow and it'll, as you can see, it's highlighting movies and TV. Scroll to the right and there you go, apps and games. Now hit the down arrow and this is the one we are looking for, file manager. So select it. If you don't already have it installed, right here where it says open, you would see a buy button and it costs around five US dollars so I want to go ahead and buy it. If you already have it installed, you don't need to worry about this step. Just hang tight for a few minutes and we'll be coming back to this app in a few. All right, so after you have File Manager installed, we can now proceed to opening up Kodi. Select Launch Application. All right, so inside of Kodi, you want to go to System, select File Manager, and then select Add Source at the bottom. Here you want to type in, you want to select where it says none, and now you want to type in the following URL exactly as you see it on the screen. This is very important because if you mistype something, it's not going to work, so make sure you type it exactly as you see it. And that would be http colon forward slash forward slash mirrors dot Cody dot TV forward slash releases with an S at the end forward slash Android forward slash ARM and then at the end you can do another forward slash or it will do it automatically for you. So after you type in exactly what you see on the screen, select done and right here enter a name for this path. You can select it and name it whatever you want or you can leave it ARM. I like to name it update so I know what it is. Select done, select OK and now you're going to want to add another source. So go ahead and click on add source again. This time you want to go to browse select external storage and then scroll down to the download folder so highlight it then select it make sure you are inside the download folder and then scroll to the right and hit OK so the name is automatically put in there for you download hit OK alright so now you have download and you have the update so on the right side of the screen right here where you see my little cursor you want to make sure you open the download folder just like that on the left side you want to make sure you open the update folder and just like that you should have these two files depending on when you are watching this video right now we have 14.2 and 15.0 but if you're watching this in the future you should have 15.1, maybe even higher. So what you want to do now is hit the button with the three lines on the remote. That is kind of your option key. And select copy. And then select yes. So right now what it's doing is copying the Kodi 15.0 file over to your download folder. Alright, so once it's downloaded, you will see it right there on the right hand side, 
Cody 15.0 or higher depending on when you are watching this video. So what you want to do now is back out all the way to the main Cody screen and you want to select on the little power icon right here and select exit. Another way you can also press the home button, go back to the main menu, locate Cody and then do four stop. That's another way you can do it but it seems fine for now. So we're gonna hit the home button and now we are gonna go ahead and open file manager. You can go ahead and hit the little house icon right here and it'll take you to this view. Now you can scroll down and select download and there you will see the Kodi 15.0 file. Select it and you'll be prompted to update the existing application. Want to scroll down to install and wait for that to finish. Alright, so after it has finished you'll get an app installed notification. Now you want to select done and at this point we are done with this file so if you want to delete it to free up some space you can do so by pressing and holding the center button until you get this menu here and you can just delete file. This basically removes it from your device and frees up whatever space it was taking up. So at this point we are done with file manager. We can select the home button, takes us to the main menu and locate Kodi by going to applications, manage installed applications and Kodi. So as you can see from the screen, it says 15.0 right below Kodi on the right side. Now we can select to launch application. We'll get this clear in cache, preparing for first run, please wait message and then it'll start Kodi. And as you can see, we are now inside of Kodi and we have still retained all our add-ons. All right, so we have updated Kodi to 15.0. At this point, you can hit the home button again, go all the way to settings, go to system, developer options, and you want to turn off these two options. Basically, we're bringing the device back to normal. All right, that's it. That's how you update Kodi on the Fire TV without a computer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to watch more videos like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.